Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me, I'm B. Before we get into this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. So as you can see by the title, today we are going to be bedazzling my stethoscope. This was a highly requested video ever since I posted it on my Instagram. People kept asking me where I got my stethoscope from and I would always have to tell them that I made it. When I was looking for a stethoscope, I wanted something super cute, super girly, and I couldn't find anything that matched what I wanted exactly. So that's how I came up with the idea to bedazzle my stethoscope, and here we are. So I'm going to just go through all of the materials you guys are going to need, and I'm also going to go through step by step exactly how I put the gems on my stethoscope, what I use, and everything you just need to know to get the same results that I do in this video. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. So the first thing that y'all are going to need are applicator bottles. I'm gonna take them out of the packet so y'all can see them up close. So these are the applicator bottles up close. I found this very helpful because when you're putting the glue on the stethoscope you want to have it coming out in something really really tiny and very very exact. So the tip on this applicator bottle is so tiny and it gives you the ability to make mistakes next thing you're going to need is this so i honestly don't even know what this is called i should probably look it up for y'all so you can get it give me one second 12 seconds late so this is called a picker daughter pen so this is for you to pick up the gems when you place them on your stethoscope um, if you try to do it with your hands, it's going to get really messy and they're not going to stay on. So this is super, super important to get and this will make it really easy and really quick to put the gems on your stethoscope. The next thing you're going to need, obviously, are your rhinestones. So these are my rhinestones that I got. I'm going to try to show you guys up close so you know what color I did. So I got these pink ones and I also got these silver ones. So the pink gems are going to go on the body of my stethoscope and then the silver gems are going to go on the part of my stethoscope that's a little bit skinnier. The next thing you're going to need of course is glue. So this is heavy duty resistant liquid fusion glue. It's supposed to be maximum strength and it's supposed to be good under water and things like that so the reason why i got this glue is because i have to sanitize my stethoscope after every use in the hospital so i'm gonna have to spray it down with hand sanitizer so i wanted glue that was water resistant and resistant to different types of liquids so that the gems don't end up falling off and this glue is also clear so it's always always better to use clear glue because you don't want the white glue showing and making it look tacky or whatever so get you some clear super glue you can get any type of brand just make sure that it's water resistant and that it's clear is that everything so that is everything you're going to need to bedazzle your stethoscope and I will be showing y'all exactly how I do it step by step. So yeah, let's just get right into it. So as y'all can see, I have my applicator, my rhinestones, and my tip pen that I'm going to use. And here is my stethoscope. So I did already start it and this is what it's coming out looking like right now. This is the area that I'm gonna do for y'all. I'm gonna just do a little piece so that you guys can really see exactly how to put the rhinestones on the stethoscope. I am using one hand because I'm recording with the other, so bear with me. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get your glue and you're going to just 
line it up exactly where you want the rhinestones to fall. So I'm gonna put the glue right around this area. Okay, so now that I have done that, I'm gonna just use my pen and I'm going to use the white tip to pick up the gems. And just like that, you see how it sticks so easily? And I'm gonna place it right where I want it. And I'm gonna just do that all the way across. Alright, so I've placed all the rhinestones where the glue was and I'm going to just continue these steps until I completely finish. Um, I'm going to do the rest of the rhinestones off camera for the pink portion of my stethoscope and then I will put the camera back on once I get to the upper part because it is a little bit harder. Okay, so I'm going to use my pen, I'm going to take a rhinestone and I'm going to place it right at the end. And when you place them, you just have to be very gentle and take your time so that you don't make a mess. And the rhinestones are sticking pretty easily because I did give it time to dry a little bit so the glue is nice and sticky. When you, um, when you place the rhinestones on the stethoscope too fast, the glue may not be dry and then they start to slide. So it's always good to wait a good two to five minutes before you place the rhinestones to ensure you get a nice good stick. So I'm going to just continue to place the rhinestones on the stethoscope until I get to the very top. Okay y'all, so I just finished the first side of the silver part of my stethoscope and it came out so nice. So now I'm going to move on to this side and I will show y'all the finished product. Okay y'all, so as you can see, this is the finished product of my stethoscope. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Okay y'all, so this is the finished product of my stethoscope. Okay, you know what? We're gonna just take it out the case at this point. All right, take three. So this is the finished product of my stethoscope. Look how cute. I am literally like so obsessed with it. It came out so perfect. This is exactly what I was looking for. The last time I bedazzled my stethoscope, I used straight adhesive. So it was a very short process and it wasn't literally gem by gem, but this one was, and you can just tell because it looks so much nicer, so much neater. My favorite part is definitely the top. Like these gems look so freaking cute. I'm just like super happy about it and it came out exactly how I wanted it. So I hope that this tutorial was helpful to y'all who are who were wondering how to bedazzle their stethoscope. I know this was a long time coming and it took forever, but I wanted to really take my time and I wanted it to be perfect. So that's the reason why, but yeah, y'all, this is the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed and yeah, stay tuned for my next video. Bye.